What's up guys, Shad Juice here. Got a little Shad Juice with me. I'm gonna, uh, I made a deal with somebody over some action figures. It's gonna be about 40 uh, brand new in package uh, vintage uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, uh, so these are really cool. Uh, there's definitely some ones in there I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna have to recoup some money. So uh, I'm headed there now. I just got off work not too long ago. I had to come home and get him back there and change and stuff. So let's head on over there, see what we get. I swear guys, every time I'm going out to do a deal, it's raining. Like <laughs> I won't do one of these deals for a month and every time it's raining, so. <laughs> Or if I gotta go down to the main post office and I got I got two tubs of stuff back there to take today. Seems like it's always raining. I don't know why. Like anytime there's a risk of getting cardboard wet, it's raining. You guys ever had that problem or is it just me? Or is it just coincidence? So we're about ten minutes away. We'll be there soon. Uh my battery's gonna die in this. I'll just show you what I get later and better lighting in the house, so uh Let's go get the stuff. I don't like filming at people's houses. Like, maybe if it was like a YouTube viewer or something, I wouldn't mind, or they probably wouldn't mind. I'm not even gonna ask, so. Let's see what we get here in a second. Hey guys, uh, we're back at the house with all the Ninja Turtle stuff. Um, I ended up paying $540 total for all this stuff. Um, he started off at 1000 uh, they're all new in the package, and I got some loose stuff that we threw in at the end. Um, the packaging on a lot of it's not in the greatest shape, but there's definitely some, like, 1988 uh, figures that are still carded and stuff that are cool. So uh, I uh, added it all up, and it was over $1,000 conservatively, and, uh, you know, they're damaged too, so definitely make some money. I'm going to keep a few of these things, so... Let's get into it. There's a sneak peek of what I'm gonna be showing you soon, but we're gonna go through the loose stuff first. A lot of it's uh, just some pieces and a few figures, some vehicle parts, some weapons. This goes to the party wagon van, but it's broke there, which stinks because we actually got a couple party wagon vans. I think that's broke too, but we'll see. There's a surfboard to the surfer Mikey, which I'm pretty sure I have that with the board already. Got some figures. Got the Rat King here. I got this Shredder Mutation. It like folds up to look like a drill. It's kind of like a little transformers but ninja turtles is kind of cool got a few more loose figures here um a couple of these are like really sticky so they need to be just thrown in some soapy water and uh, here's another like mutation thing it's got a rock study you see his head there it's not worth a whole lot but all right, what else we got? Got this uh, pterodactyl. I think there's a Raphael that goes with it, but I don't have him. I guess like caveman Raphael. So I'm gonna sell this by itself. I'm thinking I could get at least 20 bucks for it. So we'll see. And we got uh, this like samurai horse. I don't think it's worth much, maybe like 10 bucks. I think it's missing the saddle and stuff, so not really worth a whole lot. Uh, the thing that was worth the most in here, Mikey was playing with this stuff. We got this uh, Krang. It's got the little brain in it. This seems to be selling for uh, about 50 bucks. So This is definitely a good uh, recouper here. I'm going to have to flip that. There's some stuff I want to keep, but I can't keep it all because I got too much money invested in it. So that's how it goes. So we're going to flip that. Maybe make some money off of some of these parts. Um, what else we got here? We got some like the cards that came with the 
the packaging. And that's where that stuff is. And we got the Turtles helicopter. And it's got a, a Leonardo in there. This is Mikey's, but I just brought it down. You know, I gave it to him to play with. And then, like, he really wanted the crank that was in the package. So I have one open, so I gave him that one. So uh, I'm going to pause it right here, clear this table off, and we're going to get to the card and stuff. All right, guys, let's get into this tote. Let's see what we got here. First off, we got a wacky action. Creepy crawling splinter. This one's a pretty rough shape. Like I said, a lot of it, some of these are in rough shape, but you just don't see find get lots like this, man. We got ground chuck. You know, there's some warping on these boxes. I know there has to be some way you can uh, get the warping out there. I mean, there's not there's some creasing, but just some warping. I don't know if there's a way you could like. Maybe heat them up, or I don't know, man. I know there's a way to get the warping out of some of these boxes. You have to look it up. But we got ground shuck here. What year is he from? Uh, 91. These are all original, and these are not reproduction figures. We got uh, Sewer Sports All Stars, uh, Shell Kick and Ralph. He's cool. It's not worth that one's not worth a whole lot and we got another in the same series we got td toss and leo he's cool the uh sewer sports ones aren't worth much at all i think this one's uh, worth a little bit of money this worm like i said like the cards warped He's cool. What year is he from? 91. Now, uh, I asked him if it was like, were these your uh, childhood ones? And he said no. Uh, when he moved into his house, they were up in the attic. And uh, this guy had a really, really nice big house. And uh, I guess they just kept them up in the attic for years. And uh, here we are, uncovering them. It's pretty cool. We got a uh, Toka here. He's from 91 too. We got a uh, Wacky Wild West, Crazy Cowboy Don. Pretty cool. This curious suit, that one's from 92. There are some originals in here. We got a uh, Super Shredder. This card is actually not too bad. Another 91. We got another Wacky Wild West. This time we got Chief Leo. How cool is that? It'd be cool to just take these out of the package and just set them all up with their weapons and stuff. But we ain't gonna do that. Here's one I'm probably gonna keep for myself. We got uh, Universal Studio Monsters. Uh, Ralph has the mummy. Now these I'm probably going to keep the... There's a couple of those Universal St uh, Studio Monsters in there. These are from... Can you find a date before me? 89 maybe? So that's like the second year of them. Here's the Krang. You know, it's got some warping on it. This one is from 1988. We got another Shell Kick and Ralph. We got another, uh, we got Ace Duck, the Aerodynamic Adventurer. He is from 1989. So most of these seem like uh, they're from 88 to 93, from what I've noticed. We got a uh, Bodacious Birthday, Ralph the Magnificent in his little magician outfit. That one's super warped. That's another one that uh, isn't worth a whole lot of money, but he's cool. 
Here we go. We got an OG splinter here. Pretty sure this is from 1988. Yeah, I, I forgot to look at them. Um, some of these are unpunched. You see right there? I don't have that uh, hole punched out. Them are called unpunched. That does increase value on things most of the time. Uh, this one says 1990. So was he released on the first year? I don't know. Here we got Zach the Neutrino. This is a goofy one. I've actually never seen this one before until today. He's from 91. We got Chromodome. Another 91 series. We got another Bodacious Birthday. Crazy Clown and Mike. Check that out. It says Mike, happy birthday on it. <laughs> All his uh, legs spring up and down. A joke talent pot throwing party animal with amazing stilt extended legs. That's pretty cool. I like that. Like I said, them, uh, them series ain't worth a whole lot, but they're definitely cool. Here we got another Wacky Wild West. We got Bendito Bash and Mike. I think this one actually is worth a little bit. There's, you know, some of these are forty, fifty, a hundred dollar figures, like in mink, in a little better condition. But I should be able. I don't know if I'm gonna lot some of these up, like these sets, like this, like the Wacky Wild West. You notice that one's unpunched. This Wacky Wild West here was unpunched. Um, this mummy was sword unpunched. Just pushed in a little bit. I probably showed the crank already, I think. But yeah. We got Movie Star Foot Soldier. I think the Movie Star ones maybe ain't worth as much. I can't remember. We got a, uh, the Donatello here. What year is this from? This is an 88 original. Um. I know there's a like a soft head and a hard head. Can't really tell. He's kinda unpunched. <laughs> I don't know how this got in here, man. Like I said, these were up in the attic for I don't know how many years. But we got Don as a Dracula, Universal Monsters. Look at that bug. How the hell did he get in there? Oh, there's a little crease right there. So I guess that's how I got in. Ain't that something? Oh, I flicked him down. Oh, well, he disappeared at least. <laughs> you can't see it anymore. I could probably wiggle that out of there. I ain't gonna sit here and do that right now. I'm bored, you guys. But that's cool. I could probably get that out of there at least. Here we got a Genghis frog. Sort of unpunched from 89. We got a foot soldier that's unpunched. I use foot soldiers actually uh, go for good money. And this one isn't too bad shape. He's from 1990. All right, what else we got here? We got General Trag. Got a spider on his arm. He's from 1989. I don't know if you guys are interested in ears, but yeah, why not? We'll throw it in there. Got another Universal Monsters. We got a Micah's Frankenstein. It's a little beat up, but unpunched, sorta. And what years were these from? Are these 89? Uh, yeah, 89. Very cool. Got an OG Casey Jones here. Got some warping on the card. He's from 1989. Got another OG Raphael. It looks like maybe he's got a little bit of mold going in there maybe. It's hard to tell. See the white stuff around his head there. 
OG 88. We got Metalhead, he's kind of warped here. Now Raphael is unpunched. Metalhead's from 89. I've always liked that one. I got a f quite a few of those loose. Most of them are missing arms though. We got a Razor. It's pretty cool. He's got a Rest in Peace Turtles tombstone in there. He is from 91. We got a Rat King. He's a pretty common loose figure. I get him all the time. I got a few of them. My son's got one of them. But it's a pretty decent card. It's not perfect, but it's unpunched. Kind of straight. Not, not too, too messed up. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still coming off of sickness here. Uh, we got another Crazy Clown and Mike. Same one. I think there was two repeats. It was that one and the uh, Soccer Raphael repeats. We got another movie star. We got movie star Splinter. You can see he's got like the fuzzy head and stuff on him and the fuzzy body. That's from 92. And let's see what we got here. We got a uh, OG Bebop, kind of unpunched. Uh, the Bebops and Rocksteadies, the originals, go for some decent money. He's from 89 or 90, it says. So, pretty cool. And the last thing we got to show is the Stone Protectors, which I don't know too much about that. This is Zock, the evil leader. I couldn't find one that sold to him from a, a sold or a listed with the packaging. So this could be worth some money. It's from 92. It's made by Ace Novelty. So I thought that was quite the haul, guys. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, I paid $540 for all these. Let me know what you guys think. Would you get it? You have done it? I mean, you don't run across stuff like this too often. So, you know, I'm going to keep some of it and I know I'll make my money back. So we're going to get to listen to some of this stuff, get it up in the eBay store. This is quite the collection, man. It was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you could, uh, I could look at the camera. I got a GoPro now, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you could, uh, please hit that like button, man. Let's get this video out there. I wanted people to see this cool collection, man. Uh, I don't ask you guys to do it hardly ever, but it does help the channel get some more views. Let's hit that like button, man. If you like the Shad Juice, hit the like button. If not, it's cool, man. You don't have to. You ain't pulling your leg. But uh, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Peace out. I appreciate uh, appreciate everybody that always watches the channel. I wouldn't keep doing it if it wasn't for you. Or I might just to document what I get because it's fun. So YouTube's all about fun. Met a lot of cool people, so. There we go, guys. We're out. Peace.